good people. My name is John Hill. I've been a pal of Willie T. Hicks <laughs> since 1978. And we met at the Stroh Brewery for the first time right out of, out of school a couple of years. I went to work for Stroh's, moved to South Bend, Indiana. Anyway, this man, Willie T. Hinks, is one of the highest integrity and loyal and smart guy I've ever known. We did some stupid stuff. <laughs> but it was usually my doing, not his. Well, anyway, growing up with Bill was always an adventure. Bill was a trickster and loved to play pranks. I was probably eight or nine. Mom decided that Bill and I needed haircuts. And so she took us to the barber shop and dropped us off, gave Bill the money and told him, you're in charge. But I'd seen other guys at the barber shop and I knew that you're supposed to tell the barber something. So I asked Bill, what do I tell him? And Bill says, tell him you want a burr. I said, a burr? He says, yeah, that's the name of the haircut you get, is a burr. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in uh, 1987, Bill said he was looking for a house. And I said, well, you know what? My next door neighbor, E.P. Severins, is selling his house. About three days later, he bought it. And Bill's been more like a brother than a friend. So full of confidence, I hopped up in the barber's chair. The barber said, what'll it be, son? He said, give me a burr. He says, a burr? Yep, that's the kind of haircut I always get. So, okay. Boom. That razor went over my head once, big stripe right down the middle, and my eyes were just, I was in shock. I first want to say that I'm happy to have known Bill and spent time with him over the years. Uh, I'm grateful for the time that we've spent together. He certainly is my go-to guy for any information on uh, Purdue sports. But I, I want to give you an image of, uh, another image of Bill. Uh, picture him in waist deep water at his lake cottage in Michigan with a beer in his hand and with his uh, family and friends around it. Uh, he is about as uh, content and happy as a person could be. Now, if you look over to the pier, you'll see that he's got uh, another beer in waiting. And if you look a little farther over, you'll see a bottle of shampoo. So, uh, Bill uh, will obviously wash his hair, kind of his last ritual maybe, at, before he uh, leaves the beach, and that's just an image of Bill that uh, uh, is, is unlike other images that you, you might have of him. What a lot of people don't know is that Bill's kind of an explorer, and in the course of his explorations, he would take uh, groups of guys to various obscure little towns and burgs throughout north central Indiana. And in these little towns and burgs, you would find a bar or a tavern. What people didn't realize was that this was actually part of his day job for mid-America uh, beverage uh, as a quality control expert in tasting. So when my grandfather came to pick us up, he found the two of us sitting on the curb outside of the barber shop me in tears, Bill upset as well, but both of us with shaved heads. So he did man up and uh, pulled the same prank on himself. And I have to give him extra credit. He was in high school then, and showing up in high school with a shaved head was a lot bigger of a social hit than showing up at grade school. He uh, started actually when he was 11 in Boy Scouts. He's one of the first people to make it to Eagle. As a matter of fact, he made it in the shortest amount of time possible. So he's only 13 when he got his Eagle Award. He was very involved in Boy Scouts. He spent uh, a lot of time with his, with his son, Jack, in the backyard going through uh, some of the things that Boy Scouts do. I've been blessed in so many different ways growing up. Uh, I couldn't even count them all, but all of them due to my father and my mother, how they raised me. A lot of Purdue games, a lot of uh, trips to the lake. Those are probably my most fond memories with my dad. Would be uh, water skiing out on Walloon Lake, going to uh, Purdue games, tailgates. Okay, um, my dad was always so good at making my brother and I feel special. Um, I remember him teaching me how to ride a bike getting donut holes up at, at the lake in Michigan. And one special memory I have is when I was, I think it was like seven, and we saw the movie The Parent Trap up at the lake, 
and I loved it so much. Um, and in it, they have Oreos and peanut butter. And so then on the way home from the trip, uh, my dad surprised me and got me Oreos and peanut butter from the gas station. Uh, I have two daughters that were in high school at the same time. When it comes to the father-daughter romp, it was kind of tough for one person to dance with both girls. So Bill always volunteered and uh, he uh, took one of the girls as his date and I took the other as my date. You know, don't tell him this, but um, I really think the world of him given all that he does for for everyone else and he does it so quietly behind the scenes but he is the most humble guy quick wit um, you know sat in board meetings with him and he will just so um, matter-of-factly and unassuming will you know come up with a story usually it's a very humorous story um, but you realize it just puts things into perspective you know I also feel very blessed that I get to work with my dad now and do something that I love. There was so much of an age difference between the two of us that Bill was afraid that he wouldn't have any way to connect with me. And so he taught himself magic to be able to entertain his little brother. And it ended up being a skill that he's used all of his life. He spent his life living and working in Kokomo. When you go out to restaurants with him, chances are that he's going to know the aunt and the uncle of your server and he'll ask about them and it seems that he just remembers everybody he's ever met. He just, he just really enjoys that part of it. He knows how everybody's connected. Uh, the only downside to that is if you ask him to start telling you a story, he, he will go ahead and tell you something about somebody's second cousin's best friend, and anybody that's heard one of Bill's stories know they can get a little granular at times, so uh, that's my little brotherly dig, so there you go. The Boy Scouts and many other local organizations have certainly benefited from Bill and the contributions of the Hanks family. And Kokomo, Indiana and Howard County are certainly a better place because of Bill Hanks. I can't think of anybody probably in Kokomo who's been a better supporter of Boy Scouts than Bill Hanks. If you're charging up San Juan Hill, you want Bill Hanks by your side. So long may you run, my friend, long may you run. You've done a heck of a job for your town. I can't congratulate you enough, Bill. God bless you. Bill, I want to say that you deserve this award and congratulations to you. Bill, I can't think of another person that's more deserving for this award than you. Congratulations, Bill. This is very well deserved. Congratulations, Dad. I know you probably feel really uncomfortable right now, but this is a really special night and uh, you deserve it, so enjoy. So Dad, congratulations. We're so happy for you um, and just so proud to be from your family. Bill, in recognition of all that you've done for Kokomo and for the community of Howard County, congratulations on this reward. I'm proud of you, big brother. I'm proud. Yes, I do, don't I? Bill, so happy, so proud of you for this very deserving award by the Boy Scouts. Congratulations and um, go Boilers. <laughs>